<coughs> Helen Cregen, leading American ad advocate for the uh, abolition of the death penalty, once said, the profound question is not, do they deserve to die, but do we deserve to kill them? Hello, my name is Taylor Aquino and my partner is Michael Pigliano. We will be speaking on behalf of the affirmative side. We, the affirmative, want to support the fact that revenge is not the answer. We do feel strongly about abolishing capital punishment in the United States. The resolution that the negative side agrees with, resolved that the capital punishment should remain in the United States, should be changed, and we will discuss why throughout this debate. Now let us break some things down for you. Capital punishment is a punishment by death for a crime, also known as the death penalty. Abolish, meaning to do away with, put an end to, all defined by dictionary.com. Morals, meaning of or concerns with the judgment of goodness or badness of human action and character, all defined by the America Heritage College Dictionary. Our point of view is that capital punishment should be abolished in the United States because of the moral aspect, the crime rates, and the cost and expenses. Our first contention deals with moral aspects. As we defined before, morals meaning of or concerns with the judgment of goodness or badness of human action and character. What makes it right for us to decide the goodness or badness of human action resulting in their own death? The American Civil Liberties Union, talking about capital punishment states, in civilized society, society we reject literally doing to criminals what they do to their victims. The penalty for rape cannot be to rape, or for arson, the burning down of the arsonist's house. We should not, therefore, punish the murders with death. Capital punishment is a barbaric remainder of uncivilized society. Coretta Scott King, civil rights leader, states, forgiving violence, does not, for, forgiving violence does not mean condoning violence. There are only two alternatives to forgiving violence, revenge or adopting an attitude of never-ending bitterness and anger. For too long, we have treated violence with violence, and that's why it needs to end. If someone murders, why does it make it right for us to murder them? Let us also discuss the most devastating thing of all, innocent people dying because of the death penalty. When innocent people are in prison for crimes they did not commit, they can be freed and go on living their life. Although they will not get back the time they lost while being innocent in prison, they will still have their life to live. In capital cases, this is impossible. In the past 36 years, 131 death row inmates were found innocent. Altogether, DNA testing alone has proven 234 people innocent all found from deathpenalty.org. The graph here shows that from 1973 to 2004, the number of exoneration defined from dictionary.com as free from guilt or blame has increased, meaning that more innocent people are dying. Our second contention is the crime. Albert Camus, a famous philosopher, once said, for centuries the death penalty, often accompanied by barbarous refinements, has been trying to hold back crime in check, yet crime persists. People still continue to murder even with the death penalty intact. Deathpenaltyinfo.org, the leading non-biased website for information on the capital punishment, shows that states without the death penalty have consistently lower murder rates than that those of who support it. Thus, the death penalty does not deter crime in any way, but on the contrary, it uses it use increases the number of murders in America. George Ruff, a police lieutenant, says, I have never saw of murderer say that they thought about the death penalty as a consequence of their actions to committing their crimes. Even with the death penalty in effect, people still continue to kill. So why not abolish it to end the killing of innocents and bring back justice to our country? Our third contention deals with the cost of capital punishment. California tax taxpayers pay at least $117 million each year post-trial seeking execution of the people currently on death row. California's death penalty trials have cost as much as $10.9 million. In Maryland, death penalty cases cost three times more than non-death penalty cases, or $3 million for a single case. All provided by AmsayUSA.org. Deathpenalty.org adds the additional cost of confining an inmate to death row as compared to the maximum security prisons where those sentenced to life without possibility of parole ordinarily serve their sentence is $90,000 per year per inmate. With California's current death row population of 670, that accounts for $63.3 million annually. These high numbers prove that if the death penalty was abolished, states could use money on other things. Albert Einstein, one of the most influential scientists, once said, I have reached the conviction that uh, abolition of the death penalty is desirable. Reasons, one, irritability in the event of an error of justice. Two, 
damaging moral influence of the execution procedures on those who, whether directly or indirectly, have to do with the procedure. Save the innocent people. Save the justice. Abolish the revenge. Abolish the death penalty. Vote affirmative.